Hey guys, Dre Avon back for part two with Kaylee Gilchrist. She's an Olympic gold medalist in water polo. She's also a champion pro surfer. And in part one, we talked a lot about her water polo career. Now we're gonna get a little bit more into the surfing aspect because she's a star at that too. Like I said, this girl can do it all. So Kaylee, <laughs> as far as surfing's concerned, I know you've said before that you love water polo, but surfing is your passion. I thought that quote was really, it said a lot. So break that down as to why that means so much to you on the surfing side. Yeah, I mean, surfing, it's kind of hard to explain if you haven't surfed. It's mm -hmm. just a special feeling to be out there in the ocean and be mm -hmm. able to ride a wave. And, mm -hmm. you know, you're never going to ride the same wave. So oh, yeah, it's kind of yeah. crazy to think that. And <laughs> that's true. Yeah, you're like, oh, that okay. is true. Yeah, I'm like, I want to try, I want to try it. But that seems like that is true. Every time it's, a, it's like doing it for the first time. Yeah, and, you know, there's so many different waves that, just like you said, you're, you could be at a point break or you could be at a beach break and there's mm -hmm. just new opportunities to learn and mm -hmm. um, something that I'll do my entire life, whether, you know, obviously I'm not going to be competing my entire life, but right. I'll be surfing for as long as I can. And there's just something about being in the ocean. And, mm -hmm. you know, I always say you paddle out, you could be in the worst mood, but you get out of the ocean mm -hmm. after a surf and you're refreshed and yep. in a good mood. So I, I just love for it. Round two. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've done so well. You've have several surfing titles. What's the one that stands out as the most memorable? I know you love them all, but is there one where you really kind of overcame more adversity or you worked twice as hard? What's yeah. the one where you're like, I look back and this is the one. Yeah. yeah. I think, um, I guess the in first, the individual title that means the most to me mm -hmm. in 2010, I, mm -hmm. I backed, uh, my U S championships, up with right. a win at Lower Trestles. It was the first time, it used to be in Huntington Beach, USA surf team, Surfing America got the permit for lowers. So it switched to lowers, which is the best wave in SoCal. Mm -hmm. In 09, I kind of came from behind and won. And uh, I think that really boosts my confidence confidence for my 2010 surfing career mm -hmm. as an amateur, as my last year as being an amateur. And um, just to come out, like I wrote, I'm really goal orientated and on my, yeah. I just have it on my mirror every single morning. And I said, I wanted it back to back USA surfing championship 2010. That's what's so up. That's yeah, what's up, girl. <laughs> so I kind of like actually that contest I skated by just made heats. I wasn't definitely wasn't stand out. I mean, I was surfing against girls like Lakey Peterson, Courtney uh -huh. Conlog. Right. They're two, three, four, five in the world. You know, they're right. amazing. So in the finals, it all came together. And I just had to believe that I put the work in. And um, again, and just things went my way. I got a really high. I think I got an eight my first wave backed up with a seven or so. Nice. And again, I mean, it just, just shows I talked about it uh, about water polo, but it shows the sport I have with my friends and family. Yeah. Everyone was down at the beach and just oh, hooting and hollering. Up, yeah. yeah, it was like I had a crew of 15. <laughs> so to be able to celebrate that one with them was really, really special. And yeah. that's that's why I struggled so much my first year at USC with water polo right. is because I just came off of a great right. win. And I know your coach wasn't too happy it wasn't with that. Too I, I remember reading about that. He was like, yeah, he's like, no, polo surfing you pick <laughs> right but you've done such a great job balancing them both and thank you I, I have to put you on the spot because this is what I do people know this yeah. is what I do I read that you are you might retire from water polo I know you're good at this juggling act of like doing one and then putting it on hold and then jumping to the other one yeah. and then rising to the top and then putting that <laughs> on hold where are we at right now we're, so we're starting 2018 where are we at with water polo? Yeah, right now, water polo, I'm actually getting back in the pool. Okay, um, so we're back still in, pool. in it, y'all. I wanted to make yeah. sure I was like, please don't want to retire. <laughs> so, I mean, the thing is that <laughs> yeah. it's hard to explain to people is yeah. if I didn't surf, I'd be playing water polo until I, my arms were falling right. off. And vice versa, if I wasn't playing water polo, I'd be surfing and competing for as long as I possibly right. could. It's just, you know, I'm not going to complain about having two passions, but it just yeah. makes it, I've just been being pulled in separate directions, directions my entire life. And I knew, I took all last year off of water polo and I yep. surfed, which was the first time I was ever able to do that. And yeah, it was well, you so, had Rio so behind cool. you, so yeah. you had like this open Yeah, it was so window. cool. But yeah. with that being said, I learned that I missed water polo mm -hmm. and I do want to have another opportunity to compete for Team USA. Mm -hmm. And my dad swam in the 1964 yes. Olympics, yes. And yes. which was in Tokyo and 2020 is in Tokyo. Yes, so. and I was gonna yeah. ask you about that 2020, <laughs> you, you, you beat me to it. Yeah. I mean, how amazing would it be, you won a gold medal for water polo in Rio, to go to Tokyo 2020 as a surfer, your yes. other passion, you could really cross that off the list. Like, I was literally representing my country at the highest level in two sports. What are you doing training-wise to try to ensure that you get there? Because we, we want this for you. Your yeah, fans want thank this you, for you. thank uh, you. Americans want this for you. <laughs> what do we do to get there? What do uh, do? We work hard. Yeah. Yeah, that's, we'll what, that's basically like, it's quite simple, you work hard, yeah. but, um, I, I've gone to this age now, you know, uh, not too old, but I've obviously yeah. been playing sports my entire life. No, that you're, 
It's young dynamo. <laughs> but, I, you know, I just have a more appreciation for sports and sports yeah. at a high level that I realize I have an opportunity that people would die to have. Yeah. So I have sacrificed a lot more um, outside of the pool or the ocean to become the best athlete. Mm -hmm. And now, I mean, it all makes sense. Maybe if I was in college, I'd be like, hey, I want to go to that party or, hey, you know what? Yeah. I don't want to do that extra swim set, you know? So now I, I have this opportunity to freaking play water polo and surf as a profession. So I'm, yeah. I just take advantage of that. And whenever I'm in a slump, I just remind myself of that. But yeah. I'm surfing, playing water polo or, or some yeah. sort of cross training <laughs> every single day of the week. Sometimes, yeah. you know, double, triple, quadruple days. But. Yeah, but that's how you got to this high level. A lot of people, you know, that haven't achieved you know, they don't know how the sacrifice that goes into yeah. getting to that point. So congratulations on all Thank that. You. And you're also involved in a clothing line. I am. I know the theme is something along the lines of, I love South Central. I, I, miss, I, actually, South I Central. miss South Central. Yes. I want to shout out because my parents are from South Central. Yeah. So shout out to South yeah, Central. South Central. You know, South Central, that's what's up. And you're honoring South Central. Let everybody know what's up with the clothing, yeah. with the, you know, the shirts. I'm going to probably be getting one. <laughs> so tell tell me what what's going on totally. with that. Um, yeah. I went to USC, yeah, well, so yeah. obviously in <laughs> South Central, and I was notorious and I just loved dressing up. So right. I would go all out for all the costume parties, for Halloween, all that. Really? Um, nice. I always grew up just liking design and shirts and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so my first homecoming back, this must have been 2015, I, just for myself, I made a shirt and said, I miss South Central. I love it. And just, you know, because I'm, I'm a nostalgic alum now, mm -hmm. just wish, talking about their like glory days. Down yeah. there, exposition. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and then, you know, everyone came up to me like, where'd you get that shirt? We need it. Um, so it's like, yeah, this would be a good idea. Yeah. Why not start a business? So of course, like it was second, third, fourth. It was like fifth on my list of mm -hmm. uh, priorities, but I did it for fun and mm -hmm. I've just continued. I took a little halt for about a year, just <laughs> focused on my career. And then uh -huh. I'm back and I've made a couple shirts for other schools that I still have. Um, Very a couple cool. Pac yeah, other Pac-12 schools. schools. Yeah. Okay. So where can people get the shirts? I'm at southcentral.com. Okay. So just the name. Yeah. Com. yeah. Right. Making it easy for your, for your buyers. Exactly. I love this great marketing. Well, Guys, it's time for the three minute play with DA. Rapid fire questions showing you more about your favorite athletes, more about their personality. This is the good stuff that I can't do on the TV sidelines. So Kaylee, are you ready? It's gonna be just rapid fire questions. You tell me the first thing. That oh, comes to mind. okay. okay I ready. wanna shout out your dad. We love the guy, two time Olympian, yes, right? Yeah. For swimming. What's the greatest piece of advice that he's given you either in life or pertaining to the water? What has he told you that you're like, man, I take this with me. This is what my dad said. That's my pops. Yeah. Well. I guess I'll just break that down into two. We have a family okay. saying, this one's more on mom's side, but quote, oh, okay. good, okay. better, best, never let it rest till your good is better and your better is best. Oh, I'm gonna steal that yeah. one. I'm gonna start using that yeah. one. I and, like then, that one. <laughs> and then for my dad, um, obviously I'm, I followed in his footsteps, whether it was at USC or, or the mm -hmm. Olympic games. And mm -hmm. it wasn't necessarily a quote or anything, but he would just send me those messages, texts or calls mm -hmm. and just say what I was thinking, but mm -hmm. to read it out loud. And he's like, you know, I've been there before, like, give it your all four mm. months left. Like you don't mm. want to have any regrets and just getting those and be like, you know what? Like this is, that was like the extra boost. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah totally. You know, you're in the dog, you're just exhausted. It's a 10 hour, 10 hours of yeah, training. And, and like everyone you get that and you're like, I need that. Yeah. yeah. That extra motivation, I guess from him. Love it. Well, shout out to your dad. We're, <laughs> we're thinking of him today. All right. Favorite sports team, like you have to go away from water. Okay, so L.A. Lakers. I saw the Laker Easy. picture on Are your you Instagram. Kidding? Yeah. I saw the Laker picture. Yeah. Okay, so favorite Laker of all time then since we're going Kobe, to Lakers. Kobe, for sure. Okay, so Kobe just yeah. retired. That was tough for you. I went to his retirement jersey game. Was in that? December. Oh my God, yeah. how, how did that go? It was so cool. I woke up, <laughs> I wasn't planning on going, and then I woke up uh, the day of the game, and there was just all over Twitter, all over social, it was just social like, media. Kobe's last, Kobe's game, retiring the jerseys. And I called my sisters like, I'll get the tickets. Will you come with me? We're not missing this. And we had like the best, wow. it was like the best, the best night. That so, is so amazing. All right, yeah. shout out to Kobe. I'm a Kobe person as yeah. well. All right. Favorite current artist right now that you're listening to? I'm a big Pandora person. Yeah. Or, iPod, whatever you do, who's that artist right now where it's like, that's my person that I go to right now? Uh, yeah, I jump around a lot, okay. but so right now, Mighty Oaks. You heard okay. it? It's pretty good. Yeah, I know. Okay, just Mighty Oaks. Mighty Shout Oaks. Out to Mighty yeah. Oaks. Okay, what kind of music is that? Uh, more mellow, like okay, mellow. alternative. Yeah. Okay, also, okay. I do yeah. a lot of hip hop, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to yeah. check them out though. I'm more like see. a song, like one hit wonders one and hit stuff wonder. like that. So yeah. you kind of piece together like here and there yeah. and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. I like that. I like that. All right. Best TV series of all time. Uh, best TV series mm -hmm. of all time. Mm -hmm. Friday you, Night Lights. I loved Friday Night yeah. Lights as well. It's <laughs> in my top three. Breaking Bad is my number one. Yeah. 
I love Friday Night Lights. <laughs> Coach Taylor. Yeah. I might rewatch that just because you said that today. I'm, I love Friday Night Lights. It's so inspiring. Yeah, definitely. Great love show. It. Great show. All right. Favorite cheat snack. I know mm. we try to keep, you know, I'm a former athlete as well. We try to keep our bodies in shape. But what's that one thing where you're like, I'm training, but I just got to. I need that. Yeah. What's uh, that? What's that? You know what I, I'm saying? I've got, I've got a sweet tooth. I'm going to say too, too. like the biggest sweet tooth, but okay. um, I love vanilla chais. Yeah. So I, I know that's okay, not food, chai. but like a vanilla, but a chai, vanilla chai, just a vanilla chai. No like, extra whip or anything? No, nothing, nothing crazy, <laughs> but at, we have this local coffee shop um, down on the street, uh, okay. Alta Coffee Shop in Newport. Okay. Best vanilla chais of the game. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so vanilla chai. <laughs> yeah. We're going with we'll that. We'll go with that. And, and then anything sweet, to be honest. I know. <laughs> I'm always trying to like, I always keep like little Sour Patch Kids or something yeah. in my condo. I'm like always doing that. <laughs> All right. Do you like scary movies? Uh, no. I'm not that big of a movie you're TV not a, person. You're not a TV There's movie no person. time. Yeah. You have There's so no much. time. So then what is it? You, you, you brought up a good point. I actually wasn't going to ask this, but I'm going to ask it now because you yeah. just said that. You, you're always training. So what do you do to relax? I know you don't um, get that much time to relax, but if you have an hour yeah. to just do a Kaylee thing, what's... Yeah, like if it's not just lounging on the computer and whatever, I'll go on Twitter, read articles and stuff. I, I really like reading. And all my okay, books. Best book. Best yeah. book. Best oh, book recently. Best book. I will so you can go back to the Kobe. I finished Kobe's <laughs> book Kobe. by Roland by Roland, Roland. I can't remember his last name, but he uh, that was a, it was like a Kobe Kobe's like career recap. What biography, was whole okay. whole life thing. So uh which is funny, that's pretty typical. But I, I like okay. to just read a lot of sports books, biographies, autobiographies, or um sports psychology too. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. Well, Kaylee, thank you so much. This was so much fun hanging out with you today. It's not every day that I get to hang out with a star in two separate sports. I said it before, water polo and surfing. This girl is a real deal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you keep a lookout for part one and part two. Thank you.